So is this not enough? I talk about anything and everything FNAF merch related for a collective 24 minutes and 13 seconds, and that doesn't put the cock to rest. I mean, hey, let's be fair. I guess in those videos, I only really talked about Funko, good stuff, Funko, Sanchi, Funko, McFarlane, Funko, Naker, Funko, Think Geek. Oh, hey, we can talk about Funko this time. These bastards are, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing my own merchandise. I chunked up on the last one. It wasn't self-defense. You got much and much, baby. We got some funky ass sweaters and graphic tees, some adorable looking stickers for all the fans of Binding Agent out there. Socks, bro. Anybody who doesn't exclusively record themselves above the knee will get a wicked kick out of these. And last but not least, a limited run sleek chunk of metal to pin onto any fabric, corkboard, or absorbent material for your desire. Pins are very sexy and awesome last time I checked, especially if they use my likeness. <laughs> it was scientifically proven by a friend of mine. They go to another school, you wouldn't know. Grab this shit while it's piping hot. Store links in the description. The world of cheap plastic garbage only grows and boy howdy if I'm not going to be the one to perpetuate it to a slight and fairly reasonable degree. I mean, I don't know, what do you want me to say? I hate being monetarily stable. I want chunks of refined oil in my boat, bitch. For example, I have enough of these little shits to create a summoning ritual now. Yeah, I'm batshit insane, how could you tell? W w wait did Funko make these, dude? I've never talked about these guys in my life! Funko Incorporated, exclusive manufacturer of Black Life Five Nights of Freddy's garbage and nothing more. God, I hate the ability to see. Yeah, these dudes went through a good old recoloring phase at one point, seemingly endlessly dishing out the very same Chad and True figures and plushies with a new whack ass coat of paint. Don't get me wrong, I do love the whole Blacklight aesthetic as a whole, but holy actual piss balls is that all Funko ever put out for a while, arguably to total oversaturation, dousing seemingly every previous FNAF wave of products in this stuff. And apparently this trend was contagious enough for other companies to puke out these horrid looking containers of Blacklight slime. It haunts me this shit isn't bootlegged. Personally, all I ever grabbed of the kind were four out of the five Blacklight pop figures and honestly, the colors on these dudes are kind of pretty. I think the contrasting yellows and purples on Chica and the Cupcake are quite nice. And Foxy's whole lemon-lime color scheme going on with that dash of purple is equally pretty freaking dope looking. I can't help but feel like the box art is a tad bland compared to the Doctor Strange pop I yanked off the shelf for a tenner at Tesco, but hey, imagine Funko being impressive. Yeah, it is very debatable. Special Delivery and Security Breach, these are the two games that get the most talk these days, interesting considering one's been aggressively dwindling in popularity for months, and the other isn't even uh, out, but that's not gonna stop Funko shooting this shit out of the cannon. SD and SP puzzle figures, I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of each of these, how'd they stack up? Oh uh, well, I grabbed Chocolate Freddy because I thought the custom mold looks neat. Pretty solid looking brick of plastic overall, can't lie, as far as physical matter goes, it's up there. I also spent my hard earned cash on Freddy Frostbear, and I guess there's less entertaining ways to burn money. Yeah, not too big of a fan here, the quote unquote cracks in the ice look airbrushed on. It's just not appealing in the slightest as a figure here in my opinion. Security Breach figures here on the other hand, hey I'll bite, they're all reasonably faithful to the original designs, especially given Funko's history of handing out dental plans to these mofos. These ain't too bad looking, they're about as detailed as you'd expect. Especially considering the fact that the heads are modified reused molds. I really ain't got much to say about these squishlets, no buildable figure this time, which is kinda unwacky, but I feel like most people are gonna wanna grab these for the figures themselves this time. Funko ain't gonna waste costs on manufacturing an extra part per critter if they don't need to give people that extra incentive to splash out. Cause regardless of how badly the inconsistencies in the mold might piss things up, a lot of these designs are still pretty damn appealing. Case in point, Roxanne Supremacy, I love this figure. And these all come with some pretty stylistic box art, harsh black and red, so I'm into it. Fits nice with the tone of the source. And hey, on a final note with Funko, I went ahead and pre-ordered a rock ton of Security Breach Mystery Minis, only for them to pull this super quirky move where they uh, actually don't have the inventory in stock yet, so I went ahead and back-ordered a Segway instead. Hey Gogo, it's me, you from the past. Do me a solo and talk about the mystery minifigures you ordered that I'm assuming already arrived. Piss is an illusion, destroy the hologram, buy cream soda, bye! <laughs> McFarlane, Lego sets for the fans of shit Lego would never manufacture. I went ahead and splurged on the entire most recent series of help wanted construction sets. Yeah, I passed out after looking at a reasonably priced McFarlane product too. Oh yeah, we got a pizzeria simulator shaped anomaly here also for some reason. Whoa, hey, it's obscure character Morton Freddy from the hit 2017 video game Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Morton Freddy, how do you feel about your third merchandising feature to date in this suspiciously marked up nondescript popular building toy knockoff construction set? <laughs> <laughs> you said it, you poorly optimized sack of shit. First time I talked about McFarlane, I was described to, in painstaking detail, the uh, actual hell crafting the Pirate Cove and Prize Corner sets put my friends through. Yeah, baby, I get to experience this shit firsthand.
I want to put my fingers through rehabilitation. I kid, at least for the sets I put together, these honestly weren't too bad of a time, but that doesn't mean they don't come without your trademark typical Lego knockoff bullshit. There are some super sketchy building techniques here any Lego employee would spontaneously combust at the thought of, the mangle vent repair set especially. The more complex stuff feels just uncomfortably structurally unstable enough to make me peel that it wouldn't be your trademark typical Lego knockoff bullshit without it. I do love how some of the bricks have texture though, like these warped metallic looking pieces and the physical grittiness of the wooden plank and concrete pieces in the corn maze. And there is a surprising amount of detail packed into each of the minifigures here also, each animatronic fit with custom molds and a removable head in most cases, to reveal the internal endoskeleton skull. Grim Foxy's got this dirtied up suit with a transparent orange torso piece and a wicked circle. Angle's surprisingly faithful aside from the neon green eyes, Molten Freddy's mold is pretty intricate and Oh. Yeah, Freddy's sitting over here with a washed out screenshot as a sticker of a 3D render of his insides. So hey, quality ain't totally consistent, but things for the most part aren't too shabby in the department of making the sole marketable reason for the set's existence look good. I mean, come on, what are you buying this for the chair it comes with? Though, even if it's not genuinely the real deal, there is at least something so novel about flipping through a Lego-esque instruction manual for a Five Nights of Freddy's set, and hey, Morton Freddy's comes with a neat print of the maintenance checklist. G -g guys please, we vomited bronze on Freddy's head by our shit, I got a quota to me! So hey, overall, at least from the garbage I sampled, while McFarlane may not be the most intuitive when it comes to structurally sound construction sets of consistent quality, yeah, I don't know, I just built something out of actual Lego bricks, my guy. Speaking of superior quality, yeah, hi again, horse. Guess who swooped up that FNAF license again? Sounds she's actually back at it with the good stuff. Radically downsizing variation this time around, but hey, it's a humble tiny selection of plushy re-releases and a brand new set of pins relative to each. Honestly, it does kind of blow that we aren't seeing a return of some of the more authentic feeling merch, the Celebrate poster and the arcade tokens to nose. But we do got that classic security badge back in business, which I promptly scooped up in addition to finally picking up the standard Golden Freddy plush to tidy off my Sanchi collection. And hey, the Golden Freddy pin too, why the hell not? I've had a craving for neon yellow shit since last video. Everything's just as quality as you'd expect, all things considered. I've personally never been a fan of the random addition of Chica on top of the badge, she does look kind of funky looking up there, but hey, the novelty of Chica having any kind of relevance almost justifies it. I'm still super pumped over finally getting my noodle hands on that squishy piss-coloured mammal. Honestly, I kinda wish I owned a few more quality FNAF budgies. Yeah, I'm still looking. Spot the bootleg, everybody! Yeah, please help a girl out, I genuinely can't tell. I am like 72% sure one of these spring bitches is legitimate. I've had these three mofos stinking up the place for months now, send help. How could I possibly only be content with just the innocent yellow bunny version of the dude? I want plushy of the rotting zombie corpse, damn it. Oh hey, speak of the devil, we circled right back around to Funko, such is the way of life, huh? Well, finally moving away from those dudes for the trillion of time, there is one final thing I want to touch up on, and something I've been hoping would have come out of the series' merch line at one point or another. Official Five Nights at Freddy's statues, and holy shit, they exist now! To help promote security, reach two 12-inch fully vinyl statues of both Vanny and Vanessa and Vanny, Gregory, and Glamrock Freddy were announced late last year by Funko- oh, God damn it! The unveiling of these things was some of the coolest ass news, and also, hey, Sanchi returning, official statues. Not saying I'm seeing a pattern of my wishes from the previous two match videos coming true, but I'm seeing a pattern of my wishes from the previous two match videos coming true, and if they were even at all even part of any potential butterfly effects for Sanchi and Funko, then piss fans but I ever obligated to invest in way more plastic FNAF shit than I could ever afford. These things are straight up just seriously cool, and way bigger in person than I expected, with each standout character here looking nothing short of satisfyingly well crafted and accurate to the source material. Now hey, this is Funko, so for their standards, this ain't exactly busting through the roof for getting accuracy right for a design made almost entirely out of chunks of coloured metal, but to be totally fair to them, there's nothing about either of these statues that stick out as majorly inaccurate or contain a lack of detail that'd be noticed from a distance, like the smoothing of the rubble on a broken wall. There are honestly both some really nice pieces, I don't have many complaints in the slightest. The packaging for this garbage is pretty sleek too, it makes them feel fairly premium in a way, especially as Funko rarely ever make one of statues like these, at least not that I could dig up. And honestly, things are definitely looking up for FNAF Funko merch, with their upcoming slew of Curse of Dreadbear plushies and figures dropping around August for their Halloween events, yeah, sounds about right. This stuff doesn't look too bad though, honestly, maybe some of the figures look a tad saturated or off in some areas, but otherwise, hey, none of it looks abhorrent. And in a recent stream, the possibility of more Statues was discussed, and god damn am I open to the potential of that. And with potential fan mockups highlighting just how wicked some more adventurous statues could turn out to be, I've got faith in the fact that with just the first run of these looking as solid as they do, any future detailed figures like this have the freedom to run wild with posing and set pieces with any of the surrealist characters this series has got to offer. Unfortunately though, hey, buying out all of Funko's inventory kinda ran me dry, huh? I guess I won't be investing in Dreadbear before I fix up this good old dang old boy howdy backdrop, huh? 
Oh yeah, I can't afford that either. Oh hey, you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, commit arson. You know, shit materializing out of thin air makes about as much sense as Funko's random ass decision making, and honestly at this point, I wouldn't question it.